In this video, we're gonna look at a MACD trading strategy. MACD is a really simple indicator that's going to give us entries that we can trade off. It's really good to use if you're a beginner or even if you're just more advanced to basically get the trade entry right there. It's simple and effective. So I'm gonna go through what this chart is right here uh, and how I would use it, how to actually go ahead and enter trades, your risk management, stop loss, entry price, and everything like that, an actual trading strategy all the way through. So I'll leave the timestamps in the description below for each section here. Um, so first, obviously, come to your trading screen. I'm gonna use my Binance account. Um, I'll leave a link to them in the description. They'll give a deposit bonus. So if you're new, they'll give up to $600 as a deposit bonus. So, you know, check that out. Um, but I'm gonna be trading Ethereum here. I also trade Bitcoin like this, but Ethereum set up really well to show how this strategy works. So firstly, uh, the MACD, we are going to use as an entry signal. So what we're looking at with the MACD is really a um, divergence. So the MACD is obviously moving average convergence divergence. And what we're doing here is looking for a bullish divergence in the MACD to give us an entry signal. Now, the first thing we have to do is put everything on the chart. So I'll show you exactly what we're doing here. For me and this strategy, this is gonna be a day trading strategy. So I'm gonna be kind of trading off maybe the 15 minute up to the one hour. I think anything in between those is good as a day trading strategy, dependent on you know how long you want the position to be open. Um, but first, what I'm going to do before um, you know actually going into the strategy is to look at the chart at a wider and a longer time frame, just to get some levels on here that we um, we can trade around. So the first thing to do is obviously get the MACD on the chart, and you can see I've got that down here. So come up to indicators. Uh, Binance do it all within the trading system. So they have trading view in here for free. So um, that's good. And then we just go to the indicators, technical indicator, type in MACD here, um, and that will obviously bring the MACD up for you. And you can change around all of the uh, colors and everything like that. This is just a normal MACD. So it's just gonna come as is, and that will be on there. Now for what I've done with um, the Ethereum chart, I'm just gonna go up to the one day. And if I'm day trading, I really do wanna see what the one day is telling us. So what you can see right here on the one day is that I've got a couple of moving averages on here, the 20 period and the 50 period. These are both short term moving averages, but they're gonna give me some um, some confluence and um, some other signals to trade off. But on the one day, what I really wanna do is find out like the key levels of support and resistance at this longer time frame, because that's going to also um, like change the way that I trade. So you don't wanna be trading long when you're going into resistance. You don't wanna be trading short when you're going into support because there are areas where the price may be sticky around. So what you can see on here is obviously we've got a, uh, a support level here, which is very clear. So just draw a trend line down here to get that support level. And you can see I've used a couple of boxes right here. You can use a line or a box, it doesn't matter, um, you know, for visuals, but you know, I usually use boxes, but this uh, line could be a box as well. Um, but these are clear support and resistance levels up here as well. You can see that the price definitely traded around this a lot, around this level, around 1900. So that's an area for me to use a box. That would be a support box here, but it broke. And then now if we're trading here and we don't know where the price is gonna go, you have to look forward and place uh, another box here, or you could definitely just you know, draw a line all the way through here. It's up to you. I just like the visuals of a box. Um, but that for me, just very quickly on the chart, if I just drew that across, and let's, you know, presume that this part of the chart right here, we just, we weren't, you know, it hadn't happened yet. Then obviously you're looking for, if you're going long, if you think, you know, we, we need to go long here, then you're looking for the price really to reach this. And that's kind of the longer time frame that you're on saying longer time frame, it might get up to here and then meet resistance. But we're going to go to the shorter time frame and try and use that MACD for some entries to try and trade with the trend in the meantime. But obviously, we don't want to be taking too many long positions at this level because that's a resistance level. And so we might have to change our strategy when we get there. But if you're trading this right here, then that's obviously going to be your kind of price target over longer time frames, and it depends how long you want to be in the trade if you get there or not. Now, what we want to do is look at the MACD and just simply mark everywhere on the chart where we get an indicator. You can actually do this on longer time frames as well. It just 
depends on how long you want the trade to be open. What are you doing? Are you day trading, are you position trading, swing trading, but we can definitely see an indicator right here. So I'll show you on the chart. What we're looking for is a bullish divergence indicator. What that means is that you have the MACD and the signal line right here. What we need, and I'll just show you the colors right here so you can be sure, the MACD is green and the red is the signal line. So what we want is for the signal line to kind of cross through and show us a, a bullish divergence. You can see one here where both of the MACD and signal line kind of change, right? And that's right down here where they've been coming off bearish, but we see them both change and there's a crossover and that's where it may be showing us a bullish divergence where the momentum has changed from essentially selling off then you see the bullish divergence and it's going up. We want this bit right here as the indicator to essentially go long in an uptrend. And this is showing us an area um, where we've either got a pullback or a sell-off and then a change in momentum because the MACD is a momentum indicator. That change in momentum is what we want to trade. And so we have to, uh, at this point, obviously either be long or short, long for an uptrend, short for a downtrend. But for me, uh, we're going to be trading this bit right here from support and saying we think we're going into an uptrend. And so that's where we wanna be um, kind of trading around. And we're gonna be using this indicator right here in the longer time frame to kind of confirm that a little bit. But what I wanna do now for a day trade is if we go down to a shorter time frame. So you can go to the one hour, you can go to the uh, 15 minute, really depends what you're trading on and how long you want to kind of be trading. But then we can see right here. So I'm just going to go back to uh, where we were at this time um, as we uh, we need to get the, the points on the chart. So in an uptrend, if you've decided that you are in an uptrend or going into an uptrend, and you can do that few, uh, through various different ways. The first one is you just want an upwards sloping chart like this. So if you have an upward sloping chart, maybe 20 degrees, 30 degrees, something like that, um, then that is an uptrend and you can signal that one of two ways. Firstly, look at the uh, two moving averages right here. If they're pointing upwards like this and the price is bouncing off them in an upwards fashion, that is an uptrend. Uh, the second way simply is just to look at each pullback and see where the high or low is. So you can see there's a pullback here, there's a pullback here, and then there's a pullback here. Now these are, in my opinion, bottoming. And that's why this green line is here, you saw in the longer time frame that that was essentially a bottom and a, a support level. And so we're looking at a potential support and a potential um, move into an uptrend. Now the next area is right here, and this is very clearly going into potential uptrend here, right? The low is a lot higher. So. Once you've decided that, yes, I'm going to go long and this trend over the time horizon is going to be up, then you know you can go long. The opposite for a downtrend, of course, you want to see those highs getting lower, pointing down, both moving averages going down as well. Um, so for here, we now use the MACD as entry levels, but we also look at the chart for pullbacks. What you want to do is trade with the trend, but get your entries in pullbacks. So we're going to go down to the MACD and every time that we get a bullish divergence where we've come off or down below the midline, but then the MACD and signal are both moving up again and we get a crossover of the signal over MACD, that is a potential entry. So you're just going to really simply just put them on the chart. So we have this entry, we have a potential entry here where you get a divergence, an entry here where you get a divergence and an entry here. Now what you want to do is move right up to the chart and you want a convergence here. You want them to both be doing the same thing. In an uptrend, what you want is a low moving upwards into a higher price. And that's what happened here. That is also what happened on this one. You got a low and a sell off and then a change in momentum to the upside. Down here as well, this is also a great entry because you've basically sold or you've basically bought into a sell-off at the bottom when the momentum is changing. And then down here as well, this is also a great entry because you've literally timed the perfect time where the price has sold off. But this is telling you, nope, the, there's a divergence here, right? So the momentum is changing and moving to the upside. Now, where do you want to get in? Of course, these three four areas. Now, you don't have to trade these because that trend isn't very good. But as we move forward now, what we want to be looking at is more entries where there's a slight pullback in the price. And that is also confirmed by a divergence of the momentum from down to up. 
So if both of these are matching and you have a long bias and you're looking at an entry where there's a slight pullback, if the momentum shows that it has changed from the MACD, that's a potential entry. So there's two different ways to use this very simple strategy to trade. One is just to use this in your normal accumulation buying of crypto assets. If you're in the spot market and you just wanna use cash to buy and hold, then this is gonna give you a much better entry, right? So I buy a lot of Bitcoin on Binance, um, mainly because they give um, free trades for, for Bitcoin specifically. They give no trading fees for Bitcoin. So obviously that's a bonus uh, for me. And you know, you can just see if you're looking at the charts here, you can see that these are better entry points. So if you're looking to accumulate over you know, weeks or, or days or whatever it is, you can just use this very simply to say, yeah, the MACD is showing me that this is a better time to get in. Um, you know, if the trend is something you want to trade with, then you're getting a better entry here anyway. So you might want to dollar cost average in a way and just use MACD to get slightly better entries. And you may be getting anywhere from kind of half a percent to maybe one or two percent better entries. And if you're buying over the long term, that does add up. So that's one way to use this. The second way is to use it for short term trading to get better entries and then take profits over the short term. So I'll show you something kind of that, that I think about here. Obviously, we want to be looking at when you're trading short term is being really specific about our entry, our stop loss, and our take profit. Now, I have many different videos about um, trading on your account and day trading and how much risk you should take and everything like that. I'll leave some of those videos in the description that go through kind of how much you should trade. If you're using leverage on futures and you're short term trading, there's a lot of risk management strategies. I'll leave it for those videos. I'll leave them in the description. What we want right now is to um, go into a long position because we're trading in an uptrend. Now what you want to do, if you're going all in on one trade, then it's a very simple um, way to analyze kind of your take profit and stop loss. So let's take this one for an example. So we can see we, we may have got in here, right? And we, we timed it pretty well. And so your entry will probably be a couple of candles after. You're never gonna get the real bottom because you have to wait for that divergence with the MACD. So maybe a couple of candles after like this. Then there's two ways to set your stop loss. The first one is just to give yourself some room where you think that if the price goes there, it's just going to have failed as a trade. Um, so you can actually choose this very simply by saying, if you get in here, if I got in here and the price moves down to around kind of this level, it's probably not working out and the trend probably isn't continuing. So that's one way of doing it. And then your take profit for me has to be at least kind of 1.2 times or kind of more than that from your, your stop loss. So you want to be moving up your, your target um, to, you know, let's say uh, 1. 1. 1.4, 1.5, something like that. Now, that, that take profit is an arbitrary amount based on how much risk you're taking on the downside. But what we can do here is just zoom out and understand, is that profit target something that's reasonable? Um, now, that is because what I've done at the start of the video is looked out on the longer time frame and realized that this area here is going to be a resistance level if we're in an uptrend. Next time we get to this price, you can see the, resist, the support and resistance line box here, the area is really strong. And so if the price does move up to this level again, which it actually does right here, it might re meet resistance and that's exactly what it did here. And so for me, if I'm just day trading and looking out, then absolutely I'm gonna be looking at a take profit under this if you're if you're trading short term that is when the trade really is just you know over for you if you've got in at that point now the stop loss as well you can put that here or you can look for a support level at lower prices for example this is definitely a massive support level here for me personally you're taking far too much risk at, at this level right that's just too much risk you need too much upside and so that trade might not be the best trade to go into all in with that risk reward ratio. So what I would do is either move this up and then use kind of this as a support level. You can see we met resistance a few times, but we broke through it. That will usually um, act as support as a price level if it were to come back down there. And if it did come back down there and didn't bounce, the trade's over. And so that's where I place my stop loss. And then, as I said, you want the, you know, the take profit to be like before the next resistance level, if you can see one. The other way to do this is actually just to 
um, get entries over time. You don't have to go all in at this level. You can actually use each and every entry to maybe dollar cost average into a position if you think that the um, the trend is going to continue. And even here, when we meet resistance, you can actually use these as well, which are showing some, you know, some indicators to actually go even longer here if you're trading longer term. So you can see your time horizon is really important. You can either go short term and just take the profits or you can um, try and make a, a bigger call on a longer time frame and say, I'm going to actually continue buying into this and then potentially getting entries over time at higher levels because you're just adding to the position. You obviously have to be really bullish at that point. So that's going to be up to you and every single trade. But that's how I would, how I would think about entries and the risk management. So as you can see, MACD is a really simple indicator. You don't even need to study it that much. You just need to look down here and see these bullish divergences uh, in an uptrend, you obviously want to be buying those. In a downtrend, you want to be looking at the bearish divergences. So if you've discovered a downtrend, you're going to be looking at areas where the MACD is in bullish territory and it's moving back down towards that midline or even below. Um, so it's the exact opposite there. Um, I talk more about this in my crypto course, so I'll link that in the description. Trading strategies, how to trade futures and everything like that. There's 200 videos. Um, and pick up the deposit bonus on Binance as well uh, if you haven't got an account yet. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.